So hello fellow coin collectors and in today's video look my head gets cut off chop 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 it's like a silent night deadly night so we're looking at 2023 so I've actually put the year in 2023 on the mister and we're going to have a look at the year that coins were issued for 2023 just review them so Basically, we have got three different five cent coins. So we have the normal issue, uh, which has not the memorial uh, obverse, so it's just a standard one. But I'm not too sure where that was actually issued. It has to be okay. New portrait. Okay, I think it's 2019 one. Yeah. Uh, okay, 2020. Okay, it was 23. Beautifully out circulated. Set and proof. So, where did they issue the memorial coins? So, this coin they here they issued in the baby set. I know that. And this one just says beautifully uncirculated. So, uh, if anyone can actually. Okay, yeah, it's part of a six coin uncirculated set. Okay, so obviously they had two different sets. So the mintage figures are not issued for a lot of these coins. Uh, oh, it's hard, it's just pretty standard. Okay, the baby set all had uh, these uh, coins from 2001, 2002, and they restruck them for 2003. So there are no any of these standard coins in the baby set. So these standard coins are in the uncirculated sets. So that's very interesting. So, okay, while I'm uh, busy scratching more fleas. Okay, we've got 20 cents. Okay, now I would say these coins are a flop, you see ACDC. So this is the second set, I think. The first one was in 2001. Then they issued this set, which uh, wasn't as popular. So how many did they issue? Uh, 30,000. And... Okay, that's the actual box they come in, which is actually quite nice. Although the music is pretty horrible. God, I got tortured with the actual set. I think they're like 120 bucks. Okay, and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 23. It says six coin set. Uh, obviously, you have some proof. Anyway, so you got one, two, three. Four, five. Can I count? So there's 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 one missing there. Anyway, probably down here. Then you got the Edward the Emu. I think this was partially popular with uh, the actual book. So, but I don't think the cards are popular. So that was sort of a flop. The gold coin probably would have sold out quite quickly. Oh. Anyway, Merry Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Don't wear your pants and drink lots of beer. Okay, here we have the 50 cent standard one. Last year, you're going to see that one issued is 2022. And how many did they issue? 2022. So far, 11,700,000. So it's, it's going to be a common coin. So these ones are what you're looking for, is the 20, 2019, 2020. Okay, then we got this one. That was issued a baby set. Oh. Then we got the Chinese New Year coins. Yeah, the, this year of the rabbit. Year of the roast rabbit. Nom nom nom. Comes in this case in here. Very interesting. And they haven't issued the number because they probably haven't finish minting those coins yet because okay so you're thinking what's this ba 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 eight 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 
So prestigious PNC. So the Chinese. Okay. So Chinese, they're like ba. And we want to know what ba ba ba. Mm. Chinese. Okay. Usually means triple fortune. So that's why they got triple eight. Let me reduce it. As a form of strengthening of the digit eight. Okay. So it's in cancer. It's ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. So that's why they issued 888. And, uh, Here is the actual P, is that, no, yeah, that's the actual P, um, PNC. So the most expensive one of that one would have been the last one. If these are numbered, because it would have been 888. And I don't think, there you go. Numbers down there. Oh, you can't see it because of my head again. Okay, so, uh, no, oh, this is off the screen. Maybe I can read just that. Um, okay, whatever. Okay. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, we've got 888. Sorry about that. I'm not too sure what happened there. Maybe it's because of live stream. Okay, and it costs dollar eighty plus sixty cents two forty. And here's the back. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. That probably would have sold out. I didn't even know that it existed. Okay, so we've got 50 cent coins uh, with the ACDC thing. Okay, another popular coin is this one. The effigy. So this sold out in pretty much no time. And as you can see, they're costing about $80 now. Initially, they were 50 cents. And if you look at the actual coin, so we've got the first. It's a Mary Gillick portrait. And we've got other ones that were issued in Australia over her coronation okay so but i think there's like one or two that were issued by the uh, other countries like you've got canada uh, you've got ones that are used by bellies still which australia never used so obviously they're not on the coins this one is mintage of a uh, twenty-five thousand. so not really a low mintage or a high mintage. Perth Mint Coins. Yeah, I don't know much about them. Okay, another popular one was these ones. So, the Emperor and the Humpback Whale. People going, oh, I'm going to miss out. I'm going to miss out. A lot of people missed out. I managed to get one. And they're actually quite nice coins. I actually like them. Mate, a lot of uh, Royal Australian Mint stuff is good. This is the actual pack it comes in. So... You know, if you missed out on that, then it's a pity. You can still, okay, 25,000 vintage, you can still get a lot of other, other stuff. If you miss out, just go on to the next product. Don't cry about it. Okay, then we've got silver coins. Uh, this one seems to be popular for some reason. Well, I'm not too keen on the design. And the colour. Actually, no, the design looks good, but just the colour. Yeah, maybe they can put a bit yellow in there, make it more communist type. Yeah, anyway, what does that, so it comes in five packs. You should be able to still buy these. Got the PNC, and mintage is unknown because they haven't finished issuing these again. Okay, so 7,500 PNC is probably going to be quite a few thousand. Okay, Memorial Obverse. Got one dollar. Okay, Citizenship. Obviously not many people know about this. 
because it is a perf mint coin. So, okay, no mintage figures. And this one is bigger than a $1 coin. So, I don't talk about perf mint because oh, I'm not too familiar. So, then we've got the $1 issue body baby set. I actually like the baby set. And here, so these ones are not that popular. Um, the Australia Post coins are not that popular because they were issued for circulation. So if we look at these coins, they had a mintage of uh, 320,000. So, but they should be worth more than face value. Okay. Yeah, worth more face value but i don't think there's three hundred and twenty thousand collectors in australia so they shouldn't be too hard to get not everyone's hoarding them and here we have the matildas issued by woolworths yeah also not that popular although these ones are actually quite good the one dollars are quite good these days then you got a vegemite coin that's popular uh that one dollar coin and the a issue And okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, I'm going to stop pretty much at a lot of commemorative coins. Okay, so then we got other commemorative coins which I have no idea about. Uh, these ones, silver, the yeah, silver ones, all the popular copper and nickel coins did sell out. You got a lot of Perth Mint. So Perth Mint does issue a lot of commemorative coins, but you should be careful when you're buying Perth Mint products. Because a lot of the times, either one, the price goes down, or two, um, it stagnates, so it doesn't actually go up. So you just buy it as a collector's item. If you like that, yeah, why not? People buy cars and lose money. Why not buy coins and lose money? Especially if you enjoy it. I buy fossils. Fossils you can resell, as well as coins. Okay, lots of proof. Okay, so here's a popular one that people wanted. So this is the colored coin from the Royal Australia Post. Uh, so that you got in the tube. It was on top, so you didn't actually scratch the colored coin, which is pretty good. Although it looks a bit grainy, that one. So that Murray Cobb probably tastes a bit sandy. Oh, we don't really eat that. Okay. So here's the tube, big Aussie things. Yeah, so that's what you get. I actually never got one of these. Maybe I should have. Oh, can't get everything. And 32,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,800. So about 35,000 issued. Okay. Then yeah, you got these bullion coins that are all Australia, uh, Australian mint issues. More Perth coins. So Perth coins can be actually quite nice. As you can see, the designs on these ones are pretty good. Emus, got Tasty Horse, Luscious Rhino, Crispy Kookaburra, Not A, Glorified Seagull, you know, Happy Birthday, yeah, not too sure on that. We've got this uh, rectangle coin. Okay, then you got the ones issued in the China Lunar New Year. And that's just this tall rabbit in the center. Okay, and here's the other coin with the Chinese New Year. Yeah, they're sort of part that. They're sort of popular over time. People, so Chinese people, like, I would say, like to buy these. You know, give to their children for a certain year. Okay, and this one has a uh, character for good fortune, good luck. Okay. I oh, don't know, yeah, pole. Sick pole. It has a year of the animals around it. So, what's he want? No, there's pole. Okay, so that is incorrect. 
่แต่พุทธเดย์เย้ anyway so then we got that one again we got the AFL Premiership so uh, the color coin was also popular like the other one then we have this one so this one seems to be popular and you just got that one but three and a half million it's not going to be hard for you to get no if people really don't want the 1.2 million 2014 one dollar coin you know these ones i wouldn't pay more than one dollar for it unless you're really desperate but really they should probably move this around to the side increase the effigy increase the size of it uh, so it could incorporate more of the coin okay then we've got creatures of deep any more okay here's the afl one so people are after the color one so there are two color ones as you can see the women's and the males afl permission okay and here we have a oh look at that carlton Ooh, wow. they're like vomiting and oh hawthorn now i just want to burn it oh man Okay, so that should be oh, and then every year they issue these bullion one dollar coins. So that's quite nice. Then you just got the standard two dollar coins, another one for baby set. Then you got the Matilda ones issue for circulation. You're not too keen on the design. No, two fairy. I don't think the two fairy coin was too popular this year. No, because no, this is the third year, but this one it's a new design. So actually they're trying to make it popular. And I reckon the two fairy ones are actually the best design two dollar coins. So I quite like that. I mean without the colour on it. So then we have the colour coins. So the best one, which I won I think this won the award was a yeah the honeybee. So that it was issued for circulation. Oh, that, that's just a beautiful coin. Got bees, invasive species, and in a tree. Usually, I've never actually seen a beehive in a tree hanging off a branch, should I say. What I've seen them is they, they like to occupy cracks in, in the ground or even a crack in a tree in the bark and that will make the nest on the side so never seen one hanging up okay so there's about two million each of these and oh wait and this is a bicentenary ah oh, i got confused again okay so these are all the bicentenary coins Very poppy again. Okay. Ah, another one that was I never I haven't seen these in circulation was the list we forget V and no more. Uh, obviously they didn't issue them. Aluminium bronze have probably just issued them in the actual uh, case. You know? The folder, not that folder. Something like that. Okay, yeah, 80,000. Yeah, uncirculated coin card. So, really, it shouldn't be worth more than. I personally don't have one, I didn't even try and get one. Um, 80,000 shouldn't really be worth more than a double fee. Issue price, I think, 15 bucks. To me. Okay, then we have these Vigilmite Centenary. Issued for circulation, so it should be how many we issued each. So these are also at Woolworths, uh, but I think I've only got the black one. Okay, it's probably about two million of those, one to two million. Okay, and then you got the standard one, and another one that people want it because this is a nicely designed coin is uh, the five dollars. So that one is. 
Yeah, as you can see, it's got a nautilus. It's probably opalized. Looks a bit like an ammonite. Maybe that could be an ammonite fossil. Oh man, you can spin it around. Woo. Oh man. I don't even know you could do that. You can do it to this one. Woo. Oh, the queen's spinning. Wow. Gee, I'm just. Gee, I need to tan myself pretty easily. Okay, so here's the actual coin card. Coin cards, yeah, okay. okay Thirty thousand, and really, no, I think you pick them up for about eighty, ninety dollars. So the price hasn't dropped since since I issued. Okay, and I think that's basically it. A lot of the rest is bullion or perf mint stuff. So the ones with this effigy that has the denomination or underneath is usually Perth Mint. Although the Royal Australian Mint does issue that sometimes, that you can see. Sometimes they have the, the actual value of or the bullion whatever, it just says how much coin uh gold is in the coin. Okay, so I mean, Perth Mint's issuing quite a lot of all of uh, gold coins. Okay, this is probably Royal Australian Mint, although I don't know. So how much is this one? Perfect Mint, Perfect Mint, I really... And then the good thing about Numista, it says the bullion value, as you can see there. $3,000, so obviously it would have been sold a lot more than that. $100 face value. And Royal Australian Mint, yeah, same Price, same bullion content, 1000 though. Okay, obviously not too many coin collectors are going to buy it because we're too poor. We spend all our money on coins and we can't afford anything else. And then our wife goes, Why? How much did you spend on coins today? Better not do that. Or you give me all your money. Okay, so that's basically it. Perth Mint coin is actually quite good. So let me know which coin do you think is uh, best that Australia has issued for 2023. That would be an interesting topic to talk about. Anyway, this is where I'll stop it because uh, oh, oh, I smell.